What's up everybody, today we're talking about the best camera for beginners in vlogging. If you're getting ready to get into vlogging or you've been in vlogging and you're ready to step it up a little bit, this is the camera for you. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Vegas Life. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me out making more content, helped you out getting more content out. We are the Vegas Life. We're a vlog based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We do everything about travel, tips, Las Vegas life, and occasionally I like to do these tech review videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the bell next to it so you can be notified every time one of these videos comes up. This video is geared for the new vloggers or the vloggers getting ready to step up their game. I'm not gonna go super techy on you. I'm not. What we're gonna talk about real quick is the down and dirty of the Canon M50. This camera I think is perfect for the new vlogger or the vlogger who's been using their phone or maybe a cheaper camera who's ready to step it up just a little bit but doesn't want to spend that thousand dollars on the top of the line cameras coming in at right around five hundred and sixty dollars this camera is perfect now everything I talk about today including the tripod I'm using and everything else is gonna be in the description down below you can click on the links I've done all the research for you I've found all the products you can literally click all those links and have exactly the same setup as I have and get right into vlogging without any problem all right today we're gonna go over six topics I think are important for you to know about the Canon M50 and why it's perfect as a beginner camera. All right, number one for the Canon M50, ease of use. This camera is perfect for ease of use. All you gotta do is flip this thing on and it's ready to go. As soon as you hit the menu, it's a guided tour right through the menu so you know exactly what you're clicking on and why. Or you can click it right over to the standard menu, which I have, and everything's just laid out right there. This is a very easy camera to use. That leads us into subject number two, the flip screen. Every good vlogging camera has to have a flip screen. And you know why? Because you're holding it out there, you're looking at yourself, it's perfect. This one has a great one. It's articulating, so whatever kind of shots you're going for, you're trying to get those high shots, you wanna flip it back around, you wanna cover it back up. It's a perfect screen for that. This is an OLED screen. It is beautiful to see. It's a very clear picture. It's a touch screen, so anything you touch is gonna to work on it. It's a great screen to use. Additionally, on my camera, I have the screen protector. It's one of those glass ones, just like you'd buy for your iPhone. I have that link down below as well, because you're touching it all day, you're flipping it in and out, especially with vlogging. It's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get smudgy, so the screen protector on there is perfect for that. All right, number three on the list, we're talking about sound. Sound is very important when it comes to vlogging. Sound can make or break your vlogging videos. If you see some of my earlier videos, I did not know that or care about that. No, I didn't know about that. I, obviously, I care. I just didn't know about it. But if you see some of my earlier vlogging videos, oh, there it is. So right over here, to give you perspective. This is Bass Pro Shop. We did a video about that. This is one of the mics from. They do not have great sound. I was using the onboard microphones on some cheaper cameras or on my iPhone. The sound on a lot of my videos are not. I've really stepped that up in the last couple of years and I've really made it a lot better. This camera has a really great onboard microphone. Here, let me show you a quick clip of what it sounds like outside using the onboard microphone. All right, so right now I'm using the onboard mic. Got behind me a uh, air conditioner going. Got the normal outside noises. We're outside and under a tree. So this is a perfect example of vlogging. It's about arm's length away as you would vlog with. All right, when you're ready to step up your microphone game though and you don't want to use the onboard microphone, a real cheap and easy option is a Rode Video Micro. All right, so this is vlogging now with the uh, Rode Video Micro on it. Again, I got the uh, AC going behind me. Got normal outside noise, bugs, kids playing. It's about arm length away. I'm underneath a tree. So this is another example of vlogging with a microphone. This thing is perfect. It's under $60. I think on Amazon, I got it for about $55 right now. Again, it's linked down below. And this goes right on top of your camera. It's got the uh, dead cat slash wind muff built right in. Links into the side of your camera. Oh, speaking of that, the camera has an audio jack. That is something that's hard to find on a camera under $500. That is a very important part when you want to step it up, especially in the studio or outside. A great thing to use. So as you can see, this thing is great and wins. So all you got to do on this, open the mic port on the side, plug this bad boy in, bam, it's ready to go. You're ready to vlog. Very simple to use. No extra cables are needed. This comes right with the cord you need and everything. Let's talk about number four, video picture. This is a great camera. We're not going to go into all the specs for taking photos because that's not what this is about. This is about vlogging and videos. So for a camera under $600, right at the 550 point, you can get 4K at 24 frames per second. You can't beat that. I, I, the iPhone's the only thing even remotely, and that's a $1,000 phone. If you're not ready quite to shoot in the 4K yet, which I'm not, most of my vlogs are not gonna be in 4K. It's just not a need for it yet. But shooting in 1080p, you have 60, 30, 24 frames per second. 
So you have all the options you need. You can go all the way down to 720p at 60 frames per second. Additionally, it has built-in time-lapse. If you want to set it up, take those long time-lapse photos. It's perfect for that. I personally still use my iPhone when it comes to time-lapse, only because it's a very easy system to use. You don't have to set the intervals. You don't have to set any of that. The iPhone's just quick point and shoot. All right, so about as techy as I'm going to get for you is right now. So if you want to uh, tune this out, be my guest. We've got dual pixel autofocus. So Long and short of that is it's very good at focusing on what it needs to. Got 143 focus points, face tracking as well as object tracking. If you have the face follow focus, it's gonna follow your face anywhere you go. The only issue with that sometimes is if you're holding something up in front of it and you have your face in there, it wants to follow your face. So you'll have to cover your face in order to get it to follow. All right, number five on our list is batteries. Battery life is a little bit of a challenge on this particular camera. However, it's very easy to overcome that. So the box comes with a one cannon battery, which is good. It lasts about probably 30 minutes if you're doing some continuous vlogging. You can set it up so that you can turn the screen on and off between your shots without turning the whole camera off. That'll also save you some battery life. And that is you buy the extra batteries on Amazon. I've linked those down below. You get two of them and a dual charger. They're the exact batteries you need. You pop them in, you're good to go, and it's not even an issue. The biggest problem with that is forgetting to bring them with you. That happened to me while I was on River Street recording. We had to walk all the way back to the car just to get those batteries. All right, number six, and this is an important one for you new vloggers or people who are upgrading from a smaller phone, and that's the setup that I use. So the way you set your vlogging camera up and your setup is going to be dependent on how you want to vlog. A lot of people like using the big Joby tripods, which is made popular with people like Casey Neistat, others like that. You can bend it and put it however you want. I, however, have found that something just like this is exactly what I like to use. This is the iGadgets mini tripod. They don't make this particular one anymore. You can find it still on eBay. I've linked one down in Amazon that's very close and is also very good to use. So I personally love using the small little handheld one. I've used this for probably about four years now. Ever since I started the vlog, I've used this. It is beyond a doubt my favorite. I have used stabilizers when I was using my iPhone for a lot of shots uh, where it requires a nice smooth shot, but nevertheless, even with this, it does work great. All right, that's going to do it for us today when we're talking about the Canon M50. Do me a favor real quick before you click away. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe down below. It really does help me out and I appreciate it a lot. Additionally, we have another vlog coming up here real soon where I'm going to compare using the iPhone 11 to the Canon M50 shot for shot and show you exactly how they compare. I really did like using the iPhone a lot. I finally got this camera. The camera has been great. It's very easy to upload. So make sure you stay tuned. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss that. Thank you again for stopping by The Vegas Life and as always, We'll see you soon.